Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am filming the Nightmare Before Christmas Project Pan intro. This is a project pan that was created for the Fantastic Ladies Facebook group. It is started by Amanda and Jessica. And basically you have to pick 25 items. There are 13 for Halloween and 12 for Christmas. And relate those items to those holidays in any way. This project starts on the, well, started on the 25th of June and goes until Christmas Day, so the 25th of December. So, a six month long project. Let me just go ahead and show you what I have for first for Halloween, then we'll do Christmas. And I'll also tell you what my goals are for each of these products. And yeah, I think that's all I need to say. This will be updated monthly, so as long as I'm on top of my game, you will get monthly updates. Let's just go ahead and jump right in. The first product I have is for Halloween. It is for the, um, basically just because it's a black eyeliner. This is the Physician's Formula eyeliner. And black because it's for Halloween. Black and orange, I just figured, is, is truly, they're truly Halloween colors. Let me show you how much I have left in here. There's not a ton left, so I'm pretty sure I'll be able to finish that early on. But we shall see. I don't use this one all the time, and I have a few other eyeliners I'm working on. So we'll see how I do on this one. Um, goal is to use it up. So, you know, hopefully I will. The next one I have is a China Glaze Nail Polish. And the reason I chose this for Halloween is because it's a red with black flecks in it. I don't know if you can see them there with black flecks in it and it's called I Love Your Guts and it came out Halloween of, oh my gosh, this is kind of old. This is Halloween of 2014 maybe? Maybe, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> but this is what it looks like and I don't want to use this all up because as you can see, it's pretty full up here. But I do want to use it just as much as possible um, just during this entire project. Of course, it'll get more use around the Halloween time, but you know, just use it as much as possible. That's all I want to do. The next thing I have is the Posh Calling All Fairies Face Mask. This looks like that. It is so cute and adorable in its little light blue packaging. And this is because who doesn't, what little girl doesn't want to dress as a fairy for Halloween? I mean, come on, we have all been there. We all wanted to be Tinkerbell or something similar. So that is what this is for. My goal on this one is to just use half. Now, I'm not really going to be able to tell exactly because the packaging is, you can't, it's so that you can't see through. It's pretty opaque. So uh, you can't really see through it. And I can feel around and I know that it's still pretty close to the top because I just feel a lot of product there. I don't feel empty space until I get way up here. So right now we're starting at about right here and I'll mark these products um, later on. I just forgot to before I started filming. But that's what that one looks like. The fourth thing I have is a face powder. And it is the IT Cosmetics CC Plus Your Skin But Better Airbrush Perfecting Powder SPF 50 Plus Broad Spectrum Long Name Ever. It's just a face powder from IT Cosmetics. <laughs> Let me show you. It's very reflective, so this might be a really bad idea. Oh, there you go. All right, so there's that. And I already have pan in it because I used it in another project, but I do want to uh, use this up. And I think that's possible in a six month time frame. But there it is. Oh, that is really reflective. Sorry, guys. Okay, so there's the pan. And that's what I have left. And it's pretty built up all around the sides. And here it's even got some hard pan up here I'm going to have to fix. But, you know, I think in six months I'll be able to do that. And I chose that because, I mean, face powder on Halloween who doesn't use it when they're dressing up for Halloween. So it just kind of made sense. The next thing I have is the Urban Decay After Dark Lipstick. This is their matte lipstick back in the uh, Revolution line, the lips, um, Urban Decay Revolution lipsticks. Let me show you. It's got black packaging, which helps with the Halloween theme. Looks like that. And this color is gorgeous. It's a pinky berry color. Oh, it's showing off really dark on camera compared to what it is. I promise it is not this dark. There you go. That might be a little better. The top of it is more accurate. But that is what this color looks like. And while it is a deeper berry, it's not as dark as what it looks. But my goal is to use this um, as just as much as possible because it is still pretty brand new. I didn't show you, but there's a lot of products still in here. 
And uh, there's no way I'm going to get through this in the six months, especially when you see what other lip products I have in this project and in a different project that I have an intro coming up for. So just use this as much as possible. It's going to be gorgeous, perfect for fall. I don't think I'm going to have any problem with this one. The next thing I chose was a lotion. This is the uh, Bath & Body Works Beach Night Summer Marshmallow Body Lotion. And I chose this because although it says summer marshmallow, marshmallow really reminds me of fall. It reminds me of bonfires and s'mores. So I really just thought that that would be really appropriate for fall and Halloween. I mean, who doesn't love having s'mores on Halloween? Just kind of went together. So this is what this looks like. And it is full. It is up here. I've only used it twice on my hands, so it hasn't really been used on my body once. So there's not a lot missing is what the point of that is. And the goal in this is to use half because I do have another lotion I'll be showing you in a little bit. I want to get some use on as well. So realistically, about half I want to use in this six-month time period. All right. The next thing I have is um, a fresh sugar advanced therapy lip balm. This is chosen because it is a white packaging and white reminds me of ghosts. I just, I always think of white and ghosts when it comes to Halloween and it's brand new. It has not been used. I'll show you. That's where we're starting at. And like I said, I'll do measurements a little later on on my paper so I can show those to you as each update comes up. Uh, but my goal is to use this all up. I don't think it's going to be a problem. I love lip balm. I wear it all the time. I don't think that'll be an issue. The next thing I have is the Too Faced uh, Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This bronzer I chose because it's Chocolate Soleil, and who doesn't like to get chocolate on Halloween? Everybody loves chocolate on Halloween. I know I do. And this has been used uh, twice maybe two or three times before that's it so it's pretty much brand new and you know how densely packed these things are so that's our starting point right there you can see it's got no dent in it or anything like that right now and so yeah that's our starting point for the chocolate soleil bronzer the goal on this one i forgot to say is to make a dent in it so as long as i'm using it Consistently, I'm probably going to count this one as successful. If I'm not using it consistently, I'm, I won't count it as an empty in this or a goal met in this project. But I do want to try to use it as much as possible over the next six months. Okay, the next thing I have is another product I chose because it's white, so it reminded me of ghosts. This is the uh, Lancome Sils Booster XL Mascara Primer. I got this as the birthday gift from Ulta this year. My birthday is in May, and this is what the gift was. And I think that it'll be really nice to just use it all up, get it out of the, the project. But honestly, I think I've always wanted to try a uh, mascara primer. So I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to try it, pair it with another product you'll see in here in just a minute, and uh, see if these things really have any value for me, if they really make any difference to my eyelashes. I've been wanting to try them, so this is the perfect time. And like I said, I just want to use this all up. Okay, moving on, the next item I have is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. I actually said it correctly. I am so proud of myself. <laughs> In the shade Paradox. This is a red and red on Halloween just reminds me of fall colors and and the fake blood on Halloween. I don't want to say real blood, but fake blood on Halloween. So let me show you what it is. It is a matte ColourPop red color. Looks like that. And my goal is just to hit pan on it, which is Coming up, I, I'm pretty sure, but I think it's going to be harder to use this because I'm not going to be using it as often as I would some other shades and more as a transition sometimes. So my goal right now is to hit pan. If I happen to hit pan early on, I will set a different goal for this or put in a different product and we'll see how that goes. But right now, this is what we're working with. The next item I have is the Urban Decay Sin Highlighter. I chose that because obviously it's Halloween. It's time for sinning. Don't take that too literally, but it is. So this is what that looks like. Again, very reflective packaging. Sorry about that. And let me show you. I have used this a few times before, so you'll see a little bit of a 
of usage on it. But basically what I want to do with this one, what was my goal here? Oh, just to make a dent in it. That's easy enough. So this is what this one looks like. You can see it's very shiny. It's a gorgeous color. So that is the plan with the Urban Decay Sin highlighter. The second to last item I have is the ColourPop Moonchild Lip Gloss. This was the, um, I want to say the Kathleen, yeah, the Kathleen Lights collection with ColourPop. And it is an ultra glossy lip. And the reason I chose it is because it really, I mean, it's called Moonchild. And you go trick-or-treating at night when the moon's out and it's a little spooky. It's a little halloween themed so it just had to go in here plus look at these gorgeous stars i don't know if you can see them that are on the top here that surround the packaging that is just too cute and really reminded me of halloween so i had to throw this one in goal on this one is to again use as much as possible and finally the last item i have for the halloween items is a white nail polish again chosen because of ghosts but this is called the new black uh nail polish ironic, right? And um, it's just their white color in a mini size. I thought this would be perfect for Halloween because I can put it under um, neon polishes for the rest of the summer. Other polishes that I'm using, I can use it as accent nails. I can use it for nail art. However, I'm sure I can get plenty of use out of this. And again, just use as much as possible because I do have other nail polishes in this project that I want to work on. So we'll just use as much as we can of that one. Now, let's go ahead and get into the Christmas items. Those are equally as fun. So let's start off with the first one I have being the Ole Hendrickson Cold Plunge. What is this official name? Cold Plunge Pore Mask. And this is a mini, but it's never been touched. It's still got a lot of, a lot of mask in here. Looks like that. My goal is to completely use that up, and I chose it because cold plunge, it just reminds me of winter and snowing on Christmas, so I really wanted to put this in here and just see if I could get that minty, refreshed, tingly feeling when I'm using the mask. I've heard great things about it, but I haven't tried it yet. The next item I chose is pretty self-explanatory. This is the Posh Lip Scrub in Vanilla Mint. It's called Snowed In. Excuse the little star on it. It was in a different project pan before. But that's what it looks like. And I just thought snowed in for Christmas. I mean, I used to live in upstate New York. So snow for Christmas is great. It's before Christmas and after Christmas that the snow can just go away. But snow for Christmas is what we always wanted. And my goal is to use this up. As you can see, I've already hit pan on it. There is plenty of product around the sides here. So... I just want to use this entire thing up. And I think in six months time, that's not going to be a problem. I do love lip scrubs. They, I use them like every other night. They really help with keeping my lips clean and hydrated and non-chapped. So I just like to get the dry skin off with this. The next thing I have is the e.l.f. Lip Oil in Pink Kiss. This looks like this. And it's been sitting on its side, so you may see a little separation in here, but I swear it's full. It's only been used a few times and I want to use up half of this. So get down about right here, probably maybe a little more, a little less, give or take, but that's what I want to do with this one. So I chose pink kiss because kiss under the mistletoe really reminds me of Christmas. The next item is the steel lip glaze in the shade sugar plum. I always call it sugar plum fairy. It is not sugar plum fairy. It is sugar plum. <laughs> And this is just a gorgeous color that reminds me of Christmas because of the name. And I want to use this completely all the way up. As you can tell, it's been used before, but not tons. So I just want to use up that mauve shade. I don't think that'll be hard at all. It, it's great to pair other over other lipsticks, but it's also great on its own. The next thing I have goes along with the previous Sills Booster Mascara from Lancome. This is the Mally Mascara. I chose this because it has silver on it and reminds me of Silver Bells. So because of that song, I just needed something silver to throw in here. It made a lot of sense, and I think it'll pair nicely with the primer that I had earlier. I have not used this before, so we'll see how I like it. I know Mally's a pretty good company, so hopefully I will love this just as much as I love the primer. All right, the next thing I have is the ColourPop 
Clueless Mini Liquid Lip. And it looks like this. It's Everything is rubbed off on it because it's been used before and it's a little older. But this is just like a muted mauve color. And the reason I chose this again is just the silver feral. I'm, I'm calling it silver bells for the silver top on here. But this is what it looks like. I want to use this up completely. The next item I have is another lipstick. I know we're going crazy on lipsticks right now. But the next item I have is a lipstick. This is the Too Faced, um, what were these called? I think they were called the Matte, oh, I can't even read this anymore. Too Faced Matte Lipsticks back when they, I think they still have these, but they're on like super sale now or something. But it comes in the black packaging instead of the La Creme Lipstick, it's the Matte La Creme Lipstick. So that's what that looks like. This again is like the other, a dark berry color, but simply gorgeous. Looks like that. Again, if you look at the top, that's more accurate. It looks darker on camera than what it really is, but it's a gorgeous berry. And I just want to use this as much as possible because there is still a ton left in here. I will never use that whole thing up, but I did, um, I did get this a little bit ago and I want to say, I don't know if it was on sale price or full price, but I want to get my usage out of it because it's gorgeous and I'm not using a whole lot of my high end lipsticks lately. I needed to get better about that and get my money's worth out of them. All right, let's see. Next we have the ColourPop Creeper Liquid Mini Lip. Now this could be say, this could be chosen. It, it could go for two different reasons for Christmas. First of all, it's a red lip, and red and green just are Christmas colors, so that's why I chose it. But also, it's got the silver for silver bells, so it could go for that challenge as well. But I really love a red lip in December. Yes, I am one of those basic girls who really enjoys that. But a red lip around December, and sometimes just as a statement lipstick during the year, I really enjoy this. So I want to use this all the way up as well, and that's going in the project. The next item I have is my Posh, um, what is this, BFF, Best Face Forever Exfoliating Daily Face Wash. This I want to use up completely. It was in a previous project, so ignore that little line there. But it's probably about, you can't see through this packaging either. Posh is really bad about letting you see through their packaging. But I want to say it's... it feels like it's about, oh, it's got a hair on it, that's lovely. I want to say it's about right here. So probably halfway through the word BFF, but I want to use that up. It says it's gentle enough to use daily and it is, I mean, I've used it before, but I don't use it daily just because I don't want to exfoliate my face every day, whether it's gentle or not. So I'm just going to use this every other day or a few times a week for my exfoliator from now on. And let's see, the 10th item I have is the Stila Glitter and Glow in Plum On. And this is also for Sugar Plum Fairy. I just thought it was aptly named. This is what it looks like. It's a gorgeous plummy shade. And I don't know, you can't really see it here, but it's a plum with like some silver sparkle, some purple sparkle, and I think some, some pink glitter or pink sparkle in it as well. So that's plum on. And as you can tell, it's the mini size. Now this, I don't want to use all the way up, but I do want to use, I don't know if you can tell halfway through this or not, but I do want to use this just as much as possible through the next six months. Second to last item I have is the Bath and Body Works Island White Sand Shower Gel. And this, I know it's summery, it sounds very beachy, but it's white sand and a white Christmas. It just it had to go in and it's perfect for using these first few months while it's still summer. And my goal is to use this one third to one half of the way up because I do have other shower gels I'm working on in different projects. So that's this one. It's beautiful packaging. And then I'll show you my last item, which is also from Bath and Body Works. This is the Eucalyptus Spearmint Stress Relief Body Lotion. This is in a really nice glass container. It's really pretty, really sturdy. Looks like that. And my goal on here is to use about one third to a half. So probably around from here to here. And like I said, I'll mark it as I go. But right now I'm starting with it completely full. 
But I think that after I measure everything, that's it for the items in this project and I'm good to use them now. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And as always, I will link the Fantastic Ladies Facebook group down below, as well as the master list of who all is involved in this project because there are so many lovely ladies participating in this project. Please go check them out. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.